What you see in the camera view is um, a commercially made slip lead for a dog. Now, um, these are used as training leads or emergency leashes. And you can see how this is formed. Where And this one is very well made. Um, where you've got um, a D-ring or a ring and leather. But basically, it's a noose for the dog, so that if you have to, you can catch a dog. This is called a safety because it slides up and down the rope, and once you get this on a dog, it's very tight, and the dog can't get out of the collar. Now, we have, I have an aggressive dog nearby, um, but he shows up every once in a while. He's not here all the time. And... I mean, that slip lead is a little bit bulky to keep in my pocket all the time. But this is what I'm working on with Coco as far as um, Bubba's the German Shepherd that I'm talking about. And he's aggressive. And he doesn't follow commands. And he weighs, I think, about 75 pounds. And Coco weighs 22. So it's kind of a worst case scenario when we walk out the door and there's Bubba. So what I'm going to do, um, I use a cane, a walker, and a wheelchair, depending on how my legs are doing. I could use a cane to just put pressure against Bubba's throat and say no, but that's not really going to get him out of the way. What I need to do is get any aggressive dog controlled. So what I'm going to do is carry a slip lead with me. So that one is a little bit bulky, and I just want to show you quickly how to make one out of rope. Um, here's some rope that I've made. And what you do is you make a very tight, small loop at one end of the rope. Like that. And even that knot is a little bit big. And then you take the rest of the rope and you pull it through, all the way through, so that you have um, a collar or a noose at the end of the rope. So there is basically the collar portion of the slip weave. Now, to make the safety, just cut a short piece off the end of the rope and tie it very tightly there. I'm not going to cut this one yet because I want to... And then you have a safety. So this is how you can make your own slip lead. Just like that. The same as a commercial slip lead. This is a very strong uh, rope. It's acrylic yarn, two strands, um, lucided tightly. It's strong enough to hold a dog in an emergency. It also will fit in my pocket a lot easier than this big one. So um, this is a way to always have an extra leash in your pocket so that if you do have a service dog and say Bubba, um, he went after my neighbor's poodle and uh, the woman who owns the poodle is like in her late 70s, has a bad hip and she could do nothing but stand there while Bubba pushed her poodle around. So, in that case, what you do is you pull this out of your pocket, you slip it over Bubba's head, and you pull it tight the whole time you're saying no. But then you have to be prepared that you've got two dogs on two leashes, and in my case, I'm using a cane, a wheelchair, or a walker. So, it's going to take some thought and some training, but you need to have a plan in case a dog comes up to you. And making your own slip lead out of rope that you might even have in the house um, and keeping it in your pocket ensures that you have at least the beginning of a plan. So in my case with Bubba, um, the owners say he is friendly and always just wonderful. and So I would put that around him, pull him off to the side, get them at least two feet apart if I could, and then just go through normal commands, sit, no, stop. And at the same time, in in his case, his owners are never too far away. Um, we had had a pit bull come after us one day, 
and that owner was not really far away. So if no owners are in sight, then you start yelling help. And someone will help, will come by and help you take the dog on the slip lead away so that one of you can call for animal control. But this is an easy way to make a slip lead to keep in your pocket for an emergency.